Hey guys, welcome to another video and it's been a very very long time that you guys have been telling me to check this ROM out for the K20 Pro. Yes, we are talking about the latest Evolution X 5.4, the name of the version, I don't know why, but it says Boombastic and it sure is Boombastic because it's been running great, I've done benchmarks, I've done gaming. I've been so impressed that I'm actually going to do a dedicated gaming video on this ROM and then we will also do a live stream. But in today's video, let's talk about the initial impressions. Let, let's talk about, you know, not exactly a detailed review review because I believe in making reviews of ROMs, you know, which I've used for four to five days in a row. That's when you get into the nitty gritties and you come to know what is working and what is not. But I've just been using it for more than 24 hours and I've been pretty impressed. So this is going to be sort of a initial impressions or a quick review sort of things where not everything will be covered but the points that matter for you will be covered but before we get into all the details if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to my facebook instagram telegram telegram precisely we are growing there we are about to reach a thousand members there it's a lot of fun so join us there and if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. All right, so in classic smartphone tutorials style, let's start with the system information. The Android version is Android 11, Evolution X version is 5.4 Bombastic, latest security patch of 5th February, really, really awesome stuff there. That's the maintainer, Joey Huab, big kudos to you, buddy, for maintaining this ROM for this particular device. Now, as you can see, Evolution X, as always, very, very light on its feet, very, very quick working amazingly great giving you good battery life good charging speeds and a whole lot now because this is android 11 you might have a few bugs here and there well that is what i expected but we will talk about the first thing that you see when you get into the rom that is the wallpaper and the home screen now if we talk about the home settings it just says version 11 it's a very very basic uh, launcher which is just like uh, pixel experience launcher I, I believe it is the pixel experience launcher i'm not sure now you do have you know the google search bar at the bottom with the google assistant shortcut and stuff like that and you do have the android 10 gestures and everything is working as expected now moving on when we talk about the notification tiles you do have a ton of options over here now after resurrection remix probably this is the rom which has a whole ton of customization but the place where i like this rom a little better than resurrection remix is that this has the right mix of all the options and features that you would need for example if i look at this area over here i have cpu info screencast gaming mode fps counter screen recorder and heads up like these two tiles itself are more than enough for me to decide that yes i can use this rom for gaming and streaming and recording so, you know, the reason I'm focusing so much on these things is because that is what you guys want. The most common question that I get on the channel is, which is the best ROM for gaming? Which is the best ROM for screen recording? Now, remember, for you to have a best ROM for gaming, it is not only necessary that the games should work fine. It is also necessary that while playing, you should be able to stream while playing you should be able to record so you know this rom covers those things in a very very beautiful way and that is the reason it is you know sort of i i have been always recommended or recommending evolution x now you do have a very basic app drawer over here nothing much moving on if we actually go to settings you do have a colorful menu over here one by one let's go through all of those in network and internet wi-fi calling is working as expected there you go so Wi-Fi calling works, carrier video calling works, that's completely fine, nothing broken there. Connected devices, Bluetooth, tethering, hotspot, everything works fine for me. Now in Evolution X, this menu is what makes the difference, that is the Evolver. Now you have different names and different ROMs for this particular menu, but all in all, this is a customization menu. You have a ton of options to customize the ROM. Now obviously, I would not be going to each and every option over here because then this video would last forever and uh, yeah you can actually go ahead and check it out each and every option power menu gestures lock screen navigation animations and miscellaneous so a ton of customization there even if you go to battery you do have thermal profiles you can see that i've set it for benchmark or gaming and stuff like that 
so that really helps it has smart charging to increase the battery life of your battery you can chart you know you can decide where to slow down the speed what is the maximum level of battery you need to have that is amazing isn't it for a rom to pick up so many things you do have tap to wake pocket detection enable blurs you do have dc dimming for anti flicker mode and stuff like that and everything works like a charm now in security you do have everything from your pixel imprint which is basically the fingerprint scanner which works like a charm now let me show you over here i don't know if it will sleep yes now, as you can see i don't have always on display but even with aod fod works fine even with low light finger on display works fine so in all different sorts of scenarios the fingerprint has been working perfectly fine for me moving on beyond security you don't have much but your digital well being your google services everything including the android 10 gestures is working as expected and i've been mighty impressed with this rom because i'm getting airing you know at least 5 to 7 hours of screen on time when it comes to the battery life the charging speed has been splendid the performance has been there you do have a built in fps counter and all those tools which you need for gaming so you know you do have a dedicated gaming mode you can disable the heads up notifications so the reason i praise this one and arrow os so much is because these rom Rom's actually define how a you know custom rom or a basic software for a phone should be especially when you have a device which is as powerful as the K20 Pro now the only small issue i don't even call it an issue but it doesn't come with a camera application you can always install gcam or the latest anx camera which now supports android 11 roms and you can call it a day but then that is one extra step which i want to avoid even if you're giving me the basic basic camera application which doesn't even have portrait i'm okay with it but give us a camera application because not everybody is going to you know take the time to go ahead and look which camera application is best how to install it for example for anx you sometimes need to have majisk sometimes it works fine from twrp so battery life and performance has been great but yeah if can if they can throw in the camera and for it to work i mean honestly i didn't bother to install the camera application to check so maybe in the full review i will go ahead and check that now let's actually go ahead and talk about performance because performance is what matters if you go to antutu over here you would notice that it scores 443721 mine is a 6 gigabyte k20 pro so pretty decent scores like 430 440 is what it usually gets 714 and 246 i i did feel that this is a little low but then i think the phone was throttling when i did this because i did it immediately after the antutu run and the overall score is 2081 in 3d mark you do see that it's better than 39% of the devices so you know all in all if you ask my quick opinion and if you are eager to try android 11 and there is nothing holding you back go ahead and give this rom a try it's splendid for battery life splendid for touch i've not tried the overclocked screen on this particular rom but more or less this should get the job done for you we will do a dedicated gaming review for this it should be coming anytime soon in which uh, you know i will have the cpu float and the fps counter i'll play pubg for 5 minutes and call of duty for 5 minutes and then you should be good to go now before we actually go ahead and end this video let me tell you that the banking applications for me have been working fine okay and amazon prime hd playback has been working fine so if that is what matters to you well that works absolutely fine as well so all in all evolution x 5.4 is a bombastic update for this particular phone go ahead and use it let me know in the comment section what issues you faced so that if i ever decide to review this rom i can include those and i can test those for you but for now let me know in the comment section what do you think about this particular video we are uploading two videos every single day and one live stream there is a lot of effort going on to the channel guys if you've not subscribed i suggest please subscribe it's a humble request it doesn't cost you anything please like the video like the stream because that is what supports me it's okay if you don't want to pay money Nonetheless until the next one this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye